see how I got the lines blur blur. Hi, my name is Aiden Lee. I was born with autism, ADHD, and anxiety, and I'm 16 years old. Now, when you're born with autism, ADHD, and anxiety, um, sometimes the most easiest things like communication are so hard. And you feel like that you are stuck in a glass ball. And all you can do is just scream and shout and cry. That's all you can do. You're stuck there. You can't do anything. I couldn't speak till I was four years old. And that was a rough time because I remember feeling so stressed out because I had no way but being able to express myself, to share my feelings to anyone. And I tried many things. I tried sports, lots of therapy to learn. We tried yoga, we tried an assortment of things. And then, then we started doing painting. And I remember when I painted, I felt so free. I was able to let go of all my pain and let go of all of my frustration. I was so free and so calm that I was able to not stress out about speaking and eventually learn it. And, you know, I would say now that like painting is my way of just expressing myself. And I wanted to show you a painting that I've created. One out of hundreds of paintings there can be. But this one shows the neuro neurodiverse world that we live in. This at uh, this brain, for example, has like a like a spectrum. Now each person it is a different color here. Let's say this green. This green is a person who loves baking, but he only has one arm. This blue tear looking thing. It kind of looks like the earth. Maybe that's an environmentalist, but she has autism. Let's say this red, he, he's a painter, but he has autism, ADHD, and anxiety. Give these four dots. This is Down syndrome. This person has autism. That could be global delay. And this could even be a learning disability. There's just so many different types of people and it's just so diverse and, ma and makes this so colorful. It just, how would I put it? It would be, it's, yeah, I'm gonna say it again, it's, it's diverse. It, it shows how different everyone is. It shouldn't be absolutely perfect. But let's say I'm coming down and somebody's like, hmm, this purple does not seem right. I want to make it green, because green's right beside it. We should not let that happen. Because if you make it green, it loses that diversity, it loses that importance. Because being weird and different and, and sp special, that's, that's what makes you, you. That's what makes me, me. I, I have awesome ADHD and anxiety, and that's that what makes Aiden Lee. And what, what you have what is what makes you. I am 16 years old. And in 16 years, I've had people constantly remind me of my disabilities and my inabilities and my weaknesses. And the funny thing is, is that, you know, I live this. This is, this is how I live. So it's not like I don't know. I don't need to be reminded. It's, it's something I have to be part of. The funny thing is that I'm the type of person that does not fit in at all. And I have people telling me that they can change me, they can fix me, they can cure me. And how can you, ch why would you change something or cure it or fix it? Something that's so unique like this painting, how, why would you change it? So I thought, why can't we all be unique? Why can't we have shapes and color and perspectives? Why can't we just be who we want to be? Now, as you can see, as I've been telling you, this, this is kind of and very important to me. It's very. And, you know, what the funniest thing is that I could never go to school. It was a very hard thing. It was very stressful. It was, it was hard. For two years now, I have created something called Art from the Heart. 
And basically what I do is, because I've been seeing that there's not the art. We're losing that art. We're losing those things that help you calm. We're losing our personalities. We're losing our specialties. We're losing our passions and our motivations and our, it, we're losing everything. So what I've been trying to do is that I've been trying to go from grade one through six to try and teach people, to remind them how important art is. Because with, again, without art, without art for me, I, would, I wouldn't be able to speak. And tr trust me, I love speaking now. I love it so much. I speak all the time. It's just, it's too much fun. I'm teaching these kids to not throw their emotions onto each other and instead throw their emotions onto a canvas using lines and shape and color and texture. And it's so important because without art, I don't think that we'll have that diversity. We won't have all these vibrant colors. We don't want that. We need these different types of colors. We need those types of people. Like people like me and people like you. You guys are also important.